secure our country. Donald Trump fulfilled that duty by eliminating illegal immigration. Under President Trump, we had the lowest illegal border crossings in about four decades. By contrast, however, Joe Biden deserted his duty. On his first day in office, he gutted President Trump's policies. And the result has been catastrophic. Under Joe Biden, illegal immigration has skyrocketed. Under his watch, around 11 million immigrants have crossed our border illegally. That's more, that's more than the entire population of Michigan. It's twice the population of Wisconsin. Biden has welcomed into our country rapists, murderers, even terrorists. And the price that we have paid has been deadly. Among the many victims was 12-year-old Jocelyn from Houston, Texas raped and murdered by two illegal immigrants. She's one of thousands whose lives have been destroyed by Joe Biden's open border policies. To make matters even worse, Biden is even fighting tooth and nail to stop Texas and other Republican states from securing our own borders. I deployed, I deployed thousands of National Guard soldiers to build hundreds of miles of graves in one of their Thank you, go for Give it up for our National Guard. They built those barriers to stop illegal crossings. When Joe Biden ordered to cut that razor wire, I ordered the National Guard to triple the razor wire on the board. Woo! When, when Biden took 50 acres of Texas border property to illegally process up to 5,000 illegal immigrants a day, I directed the Texas National Guard to take back our land and while it shut. No! Woo! Now, there's, there's no longer 5,000 people crossing the border like there was under Joe Biden. 
now that the National Guard wired that shot on average, there is one illegal immigrant crossing the border at that location a day. When Joe Biden and Kamala Harris refused to even come to Texas and to see the border crisis that they created, I took the border to them. I've been busing Fight! Fight! 